What if I told you that you could buy true forged aluminum monoblock wheels for your ride, but for 30% off, 40%, even 50% less than the most common brands out there like HRE, BC Forged, and Vossen. Costs from a set from those companies can start at 3,500, 4,500, or more. Hard to believe, right? But what if a deal like that existed? And I think I may have found a company that can do just that. These are my True Forge aluminum wheels that I had installed on my 2021 CA Corvette. They're made by a company based out of Chicago called Aero Larry, and I paid only $2,400 for the set. Not too bad. Now, I know you must be thinking, there's no way you got that kind of deal. The quality must be bad. They must have crappy designs or hardly any designs at all. Or the, even their customer service is just hard to deal with. I get it. I thought the same thing too, but I did a ton of research on them. And from everything I could see, they look legit. Now, how that possibly could even be the case is what we're gonna cover today in this video. We'll look at how this company is shaking up the wheel industry, talk about the pros and cons of getting these wheels, as well as look at the different designs and sizes that can work for your ride, even using some cool augmented reality tech that you can download on your phone before you buy. We have a lot of great stuff to cover in this video, so let's get started. So originally when I was trying to put this video together, I wanted to do a whole bunch of cool shots outside, especially with the wheels and the sun and all. But mother nature has been a little bit savage lately and it's insanely freaking hot. And it's been over a hundred degrees, even at like 8 p.m. at night. And just basically, I, I, I don't wanna melt. So so we're in, the sh we're in the shade in the garage at least for now. We'll talk quickly about your prices and options. And then I'm gonna look to get better set up to talk about all the other fine details. So for your prices, like I said before, they start at just under $2,400. So the list on the actual website sells it for $2,388. And that is your base price. And that covers your wheels all the way from wheel sizes from 16 inches all the way up to 21 inches, uh, which, is, which is absolutely phenomenal. You can get a whole bunch of different sizes and widths with those. Uh, if you need to have added options, those can go up from $250 up to $1,700 in regards to if you wanted to go max out the size, which they can do up to 24 inches. For my CA Corvette group in particular, that means you can basically go up a, go up a wheel size from the factory wheel options to 20 inches in the front and 21 inches in the back and be able to still stay at that same base price. You can even actually go wider by half an inch to an inch so that you can get a more flush finish. So my wheels are actually that. They are 20 inches in the front and 21 inches in the back, and I did a flush finish. So I'll go into the more details on the actual sizes and such later in the video, but essentially that's where you can go with that. And basically there's two um, type of options in regards to choosing, what, choosing the wheel sizes that you need. There's the fully custom option where you can choose your offset patterns and bolt sizes and bore diameter. And those are for, in general, every, everyone's ride. There's even a required placeholder to put your make and model, and the actual company itself reviews it to just make sure that, you're, that the wheels that you order will fit your ride exactly. For my CA Corvette group, there's actually an easy buy option where they already figure that out all for you. So all you have to do is just choose the size and widths that you want, and they'll take care of everything else. So that's really, really convenient, especially for the Corvette platform. That's why there's so many C8 owners that really actually that really enjoy this, these wheels in particular. As for colors and finishes, you can get practically any color you want. For the baseline price, there's actually a large variety of different colors you can choose from, ranging from black to silver, to bronze, to red, white, blue, gray, all different kinds of colors, and either a matte type finish or a gloss type finish as a baseline price. For the upcharges, you're then getting into custom colors, specifically your specific color that you're looking for, and finishes that they have two upgraded off. Uh, they have two upgraded finish options. One is a brushed finish, and another is a polished finish. 
those are a little bit more of a unique finish. Um, they definitely make the wheels look better, but even if you don't choose that, getting just a matte or gloss finish when in any of these colors is great. Like, so my wheels best represent the brass mist matte color that you can get as a base price for your ride. You even have engraving options which allow you to customize the outer parts of your wheel with custom engravings or pretty much just make them as unique as you want them to be. These wheels are made to order, so there's a wide variety of customization that you can do with these wheels. As for shipping, your base shipping is gonna cost somewhere around $488 or so, depending on where it's getting delivered in your area. It goes all the way up to an air freight shipping choice, which will run you just under $1,700 and reduces the amount of time to get these wheels. I'll talk a little bit more in detail about the timeline uh, later in the video. And if there's any questions that you have in particular about these wheels or any of the Aerolari wheels, please feel to leave a comment below. If you have already a pair of these Aerolaris, also leave a shout out down in the comments below and let me know what kind of wheel setup you have and ride it's on because I'd like to know. So now that we talked a little bit about the wheel prices and options, I'm gonna get better set up in here and try not to die of heat so we can talk about all the fine details about these wheels and the company itself. Alrighty, now. I know I must sound already like I got paid to say all this, but I'm actually not. I haven't been sponsored by them, nor have I been given any kind of discount uh, for these wheels when I did my purchase. So this is my honest review of these wheels from both a car guy and aerospace engineer perspective to help give you the most informed decision if these wheels are best for you. So if you find this video useful, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as well as clicking on that bell so you know when the next cool video drops. So how are they able to provide such a great value for these wheels? Well, I ended up reaching out to Aerolari and I ended up talking to the CEO of the company and in our, in our conversation, I asked him how he was able to get such a great deal on these. And we had a great conversation about how their, fo how their business focus is a lot on trying to reduce wasting overhead costs. What that means is a lot of their processes are done digitally or autonomously. From the buying to the actual manufacturing processes to even the delivery process, a lot of that's been digitized and automated everywhere they could possibly do that. On top of that, when it comes to advertising, they take almost a Tesla-like approach with their advertising, which means they don't pay for their advertising. It's all done word of mouth by the people who like the product. If you think about it, Tesla never pays for any of their advertisement. It's all done word of mouth. Same approach by this company. What it means is a drastic reduction in their overhead costs, which is huge savings that basically translate to a much better value wheel compared to other companies. So they drastically reduce their overhead costs, which makes these a great value. But what about the quality of the wheels themselves? Well, to answer that, we have to look at the actual material that these are made out of. Now I'm gonna say upfront that these wheels are made from the same material that all the other companies are using when they're producing high quality monoblock all aluminum forged wheels. Now how I know that requires a little bit of an explanation. So a majority of high end monoblock aluminum forged wheels are made using the same aluminum alloy. Now when I say monoblock, that means that this wheel has been made by a single piece of high strength aluminum. And when I'm talking a single piece, I mean a giant piece the size of a wheel. And when I say forged, I mean true forged, where the material already has a majority of its strength properties in the blank prior to forming the final wheel. A lot of companies out there will say hybrid forged, or rotary forged, or XYZ of some form and forged. Those aren't true forged wheels because they flow molten or, or liquid aluminum into a mold or cast first, and then apply pressure in certain places like the barrel in order to call it a forged process. And they'll say that they use a forged process, but they'll leave out where they use a molten cast to get to that point. Why they do it is just simply because it's a cheaper process. They are better than regular casted wheels, which forgo the entire forging process altogether. But at that point, you're comparing true forged to non-true forged, which is like the difference between a samurai sword and a butter knife. In essence though, with true forged wheels, you get superior strength and lightness, which is why you see them in a lot of racing cars and higher end sports cars that have high horsepower and weight and reduction demands. They're significantly more resistant to cracking, dents, they're more easily repairable, and they're lighter. A set of these Aerolair is about 20 pounds lighter than the OEM C8 Corvettes that I had on my car, which is not too bad. I know we got a little sidetracked on the wheel making process, but the point is, is that there's a specific aluminum alloy material 
that is standard across all the different manufacturers for these type of wheels. And the material itself is called 6061 T6 aluminum. Why this is so important is because it's the same aluminum type that's used in the aerospace industry. It's used when you need something high strength and light for structural parts and you see them all the time in military aircraft and commercial aircraft. It's actually something that I'm very familiar working with as an aerospace engineer. And with that, it's also something that I know only a handful of companies in the entire world are capable of producing that specific aluminum alloy in the sizes you need for making wheels. So what this means is that essentially all the manufacturers for these wheels have to pull from the same small pool of raw material suppliers. And from there, shaping the giant aluminum blocks to the final form wheel is essentially the same manufacturing and cutting process using CNC machines and such. Now I know this is a drastic oversimplification of the entire manufacturing process, which I get. But for the sake of this review, the point I'm trying to drive across is that the quality of the wheels themselves are of the same par as other wheel manufacturers and such because they use the same materials and overall manufacturing process. And I've driven at this point over 10,000 miles and I know others that have driven cross country with theirs through very high spirited driving with no issues whatsoever. So they have low overhead costs and the quality of their wheels are pretty good. So does that mean that they have crappy designs or hardly any designs at all? Well, I hope not since I did purchase mine and I do like them very much. But the short answer is that they have a huge variety of different designs, colors, and wheel finishes so you can find your own unique style that will work best for you. They have over 30 different wheel designs. Designs like the Thresher or the Hurricanes or Squadrons or more. Mine specifically are the Sonic Breakers, which the design is actually inspired by modern fighter jets breaking the sound barrier when they're going supersonic. And even if one of those designs doesn't work specifically for you, the company is known to actually take on requests for custom designs so you have your own unique style for your ride. And since they're made to order, you can get practically any size you can think of from 16 inches to 24 inches and an 8 inch width to a 13 inch width and it essentially works off of this graph here. Now, if you have a CA Corvette in particular, the process is actually even easier since they have options already pre-selected on what wheel sizes will fit exactly for your CA Corvette. Now, the wheel sizes that I chose for my C8 are 20 by nine and 21 by 12. So I essentially went an inch larger from my OEM wheels on both the front and the rear. The tire sizes for those, I went with the 2025 20s on the front and 325 3021s in the rear. Originally, if you're looking for a little bit less stretch on your rear wheel specifically, you can go for the 325 25 21, but those are a little bit hard to find nowadays with all the supply chain issues that are going on because of COVID. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on a set of the 30, which work if you have your car lowered and you won't have any tire rub that way. Not initially a fan of the slight stretch um, on, the, on the rear, but it's, it's been growing on me. And these wheels do fit a ton of different cars aside from just CA Corvettes. You see them on Ferraris, Aston Martins, GT type cars. You even see them on Teslas and Tesla Plaids. So on top of the huge variety of wheel designs and sizes that you can get these wheels in, there's also a whole range of different colors and finishes that you can get. Whether it's black, silver, gold, bronze, red, blue, white, pretty much any visible color in the spectrum they can do. And on top of that, you can get a matte finish or a gloss finish or brushed finish or polished finish or even a chrome finish. My Aerolarius are even a special case, which I'll get into a little in a little bit. There's even a phone app you can download that uses augmented reality tech to show what a certain wheel design, color, and finish can look like on your car before you even buy it. And I can't say that there's a lot of other companies out there that can do that. Now, currently the app is only available to Apple users, which kind of sucks because I'm an Android user, but it's something worth looking into if you have Apple or have a friend that has an Apple phone until the Android version comes along. So we'll take a look at that app more in depth in a later video when the Android version comes out. And I'll have links to all of this in the description below so you can check it out. So, okay, they have low overhead cost, which makes their wheels a great value. The quality of the wheels are good. They have a large variety of different wheel designs and colors and finishes that you can choose from. But that must mean that their customer service must be terrible to deal with when you need to, right? Absolutely not. 
And this is something actually I find is the game changer for me personally. It's not even the crazy price, it's the customer service. It's some of the best customer service I've ever come across. And it's not because they have a pretty substantial loyal baseline on just the CA Corvette platform, uh, just with very positive reviews on all their wheels, but because of my own personal experience as well. So in giving an honest review of this, I'm like, I'll be honest, it wasn't absolutely perfect. But if you asked me, would I buy from them again if I was given a wheel that was the same great value as these even? And my answer would be a resounding yes. Now how that can possibly even be the case is because their customer service was one of the best experiences that I personally ever had. So to go into a little bit of a story mode, I purchased these wheels a little over a year ago in a custom color and got serial number two of 299. By the way, all these wheels are serialized from one to 299. So when they reach that final number, that wheel design is retired. So there's a guaranteed limited series for each of these wheels, which just adds to the uniqueness when it comes to wheels for your ride. Anyway, so it was a newer color and a newer design that honestly has a lot of complex features in it and can make it a challenge for painting. So when the wheels were finished, the company reached out with photos of the final finish to ask me if that's what I was looking for. By the way, they make it their business that they send out pictures to every single customer before they ship out to make sure that they, that they like what they're getting as the final product, which is a huge bonus to me. But anyway, so they send me pictures of my wheels and ask me if the color and finish is what I'm looking for. And initially the color and finish wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I wanted a little bit of a shade brighter and I asked them if that could be redone. And they said, not a problem, give us a week and we'll redo them for you. So a week goes by and they update me with new pictures and it's much better. So I say, okay, great, go ahead, and like, go ahead and ship them out. So the wheels arrive and I'm super excited and I open up the box and I put it out in the sun and I notice it's still not what I was quite looking for. But I was excited and anyway, I started posting it on my social media and I ended up actually having another conversation with, uh, with Errol Larry afterwards, um, just basically asking me if I was okay with the final fit and like with how it looked and came out. And so basically I said, not really, and like the, the wheels are great, but it's still just not quite the, the right color that I was looking for. And immediately they, were, and they came back and said, That's, that won't do. And they basically said, find a good wheel shop in your area that does high quality powder coat paints um, and we'll cover the bill. And that's what I did. I got a custom powder coat paint job for these wheels at no extra cost to me. They wanted me to be 110% satisfied with the final product of these wheels because they want each and every one of their customers to absolutely love their products. And this comes back to their business philosophy and advertising. They have truly satisfied customers that want to promote their products instead of them spending money on advertisement to get new customers. So I know a good chunk of people will probably be thinking, well, yeah, they messed up. They should front the bill for these, which I totally agree. But the thing is, I didn't really reach out to the company to ask them to fix this. They took the initiative to personally reach out to me as a customer to make sure that I was happy with the product. And this was all before the YouTube channel. I didn't have really any influence in, on any social media platforms. So this was, I was, just a, I was just a regular customer, but they made me feel like a true VIP in the process. And that's what makes me a loyal customer to them because of that. The company reaches out with final finishes of your wheels and even sends you small videos of, the, of your specific wheels being machined out on the CNC machines, which is actually crazy. I've never seen that before. But it's this amazing level of customer service that actually wins me over and makes me personally a loyal customer to them. It's why I highly recommend them without really gaining anything because again, I'm not sponsored by them. They didn't pay me to say any of this stuff and I pay full price for these. So even though these wheels have such a great value for what you're getting, what really sold me is the customer service. I have peace of mind. I know when I order my next set of wheels, it's going to be from this company because I know I'll have 110% confidence that I'm going to be satisfied with the end wheel when it's delivered. And that's why I recommend them so much. It's that peace of mind when it comes to these wheels that is more important to me than even the wheels themselves, which I don't even understand how that's possible. So I know that I talked about a lot of great things when it comes to these wheels, but there has to be some cons, right? Nobody's perfect. And that is true in this case, but honestly, it just comes down to two different things. So first will mostly be just the finishing process. It is a custom job and depending, maybe the final finish might not be consistent 
um, or exactly what you're looking for. But from what I understand, I'm only one of two cases that have, that's ever happened out of thousands of orders that, that the company has done. So they have a really good track record on that. So I, I find it hard to make that a con, but since it was my experience, I have to put that as a con that that could potentially be the case. But in any case, even if there was an issue, they would rectify it immediately. The second con I would say is the time it takes to actually get your wheels from purchase. So, so because these wheels are made to order, they do take a little bit of time from purchase to getting delivered to your door. On average, it takes about two to two and a half months to get your wheels, depending. Maybe a little bit sooner, depending on your shipping options, but on average, it's about two to two and a half months. For my wheels in particular, it actually took four months to get these but it was a year ago and it was at the height of the pandemic so it's all kinds of supply chain issues that were wreaking havoc on trying to get these wheels so totally get that it, that was a unique case at least for that time but on average nowadays the the time frame is about two to two and a half months so in, in general it's something to keep in mind that you, if you do purchase these it's not sitting in a warehouse for them to immediately ship to you it takes a little bit of time to get these delivered to you but in terms of cons that's actually not too bad so we've gone over a lot in this video to kind of summarize the pros and cons of these wheels and see if they're a right fit for you. It kind of breaks down to this. So the pros, you have pretty much an unbeatable price and value that you get from these wheels for fully forged monoblock construction, which is high strength and lightness compared to anything else out there in the market that's made out of the same kind of material. It's the best bang for your buck that you can get on the market now. You also have a wide range of different kinds of wheel designs and practically every color in the visible spectrum that you can think of and a whole bunch of different finishes that you can possibly get them. Every wheel design is limited edition, so you know there's a very nice level of uniqueness to your wheels to stand out. And they're both available for the C8 Corvette, as well as different cars, anything from Ferraris to Camaros, to Teslas, to Aston Martins, to, to Nissan GTRs, all different kinds of vehicles. Another pro is custom wheel design. Even if you don't like from their large variety of designs, you can make requests for custom wheel designs for your ride. You also have great customer service that will truly give you peace of mind that, and you'll walk away with wheels that you're 100% satisfied with. So in cons, you do have a little bit of a long wait time in regards to two, two and a half months to get your wheels from your purchase since they are made to order. And then also why I think my case was an isolated incident, I do need to put it as a con that sometimes the paint finish may not exactly be to your liking when you get them, but it's kind of hard still for me to put that as a con considering that the company went above and beyond to make sure that I was fully satisfied with these wheels at the very end. So in the end, I would absolutely recommend these wheels to anyone looking to purchase some high-end aftermarket wheels for either their C8 Corvette or any high horsepower ride for that matter. So that concludes our review of the Aero Larry wheels. I hope you found this information informative and enjoyable to watch. If you like this video, please check out any of my other product review videos like this one here for your C8 or high horsepower needs.